So today we're going to practice more adding integers, uh, not only for number lines. Uh, we're going to see a little bit different ones, okay? And we have one uh, contracted. It's just a four questions and exit tickets and we're all set. So we're going to start this week uh, with a review of uh, wh where we left on the last week, ad adding integers, okay? So objective is uh, I can understand addition of integers as putting together or counting up. So addition of integers, uh, putting together or counting up. For negative numbers, it's a counting, instead of counting up, it has to be actually counting down, okay? So uh, the then is, uh, I hope you already finished this, and let me show you real quick what it looks like. The first one is order of operations, and uh, you need to know like which one you need to do first. And the second one is uh, the factors of 20. The factors means like what numbers you can divide by, uh, 20 by. So the last one is about uh, highest temperature and lowest temperature. And uh, tell me what is the uh, high and low temperature uh, in the therm thermometer, okay? So let's go back to our uh, slides, okay? So, and let's find a sum. So it's, this is a review from last week. Uh, let's say we have these three problems, addition problem. Uh, I mark it with the red color. Uh, these are the actions that we need to do. It's the addition. But the numbers might be positive number or negative number. It depends. For the first example, it's the first number is negative, second number is positive. So how you're going to add them? So we were using the number line uh, when we add these numbers, okay? And if we go like, uh, let's say, so uh, my first number is negative five, starting at zero, I need to find negative five. So here's the negative five. So this is my number one step. And the second number is three, which is positive number. That means whatever you left on the first arrow, so you're gonna start at that point. Okay, so you're gonna start at negative five this time and uh, positive three means three means to the forward or to the right. So this will be your final destination and your final destination will be your result of addition, okay? And for the second problem, the first number is negative six, which means uh, you're gonna find a zero and go to that number. So negative six, it's right here. And so you, you, uh, uh, you end it at negative six. For your second number, it's a negative two, means you need to pick, uh, you need to start at negative six and move backward to two steps. Okay, so final destination would be your, uh, the result of this addition. Okay. And for the next one, or for the last one, the first number is seven, which means you need to go starting at zero till to the seven. It's right here, and you end it at seven. And then your second number is negative eight. So you end it at seven, and this is the last point, and starting at Seven, because of the second number is negative eight, you're gonna go uh, eight steps backwards. So this is the, until zero, it's seven step, and until negative one, it will be the eight step backwards or to the left, okay? So this was the, what we learned last week, uh, adding positive or negative number. It doesn't matter what kind of numbers are they, when we add them, uh, how to add them on the number line. And the results was, was the final destination of these arrows. Okay, so this is what we learned uh, last week. And today, we're gonna go with uh, creating equations with uh, uh, using a verbal uh, description. So when you read the verbal description, always try to pay attention to keywords. So keywords are uh, over here, for example. The sum of 15 units to the left. So because of its left, it's gonna be negative 15, right? 15 units to the left and of six on the number line means uh, the six is like, you need to locate for six. So uh, in the number line, it's right here, which is positive six. So you're trying to 
find a sum means like it's right here. It says sum uh, and six. So if you remember, guys, uh, when you add two numbers, it doesn't matter if you flip the order. When I create my equation, I, I actually flip the order. So even like if you add six with negative 15, the result would be the same. Okay. Like this. And so uh, starting at zero, I found the six. It's right here. And the next thing was next number is negative 15. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm uh, trying to use this one. And if you use the first one, you will get the same results. Don't worry about it. Okay. So you, uh, you ended at six. Starting at six, now you need to go backwards because the second number is negative 15 uh, for 15 uh, blocks. So six, this is 11. And so the 15, I think it's this one, if I'm not wrong, okay? So your final destination would be your, the result uh, of this addition, okay? So today uh, we were trying to do uh, how to write equation uh, uh, when we have a verbal description by paying, uh, by finding the key details, key uh, words on the uh, verbal description. Okay, so this is the first one. And for the second one, it says uh, the sum is 12 units to the right of negative four. So 12 units, because of uh, its right means like it's gonna be positive 12. Uh, of the negative four. So you're, you're trying to add negative four because it says sum, okay? Or as I said earlier, uh, when you add two numbers, you can change the order. You can put the negative four uh, first and put the 12 seconds. You, uh, you'll see the same results, okay? And so let's say my first number is negative four. So starting at zero, I'm gonna find a negative four. Negative four is right here. This is my first arrow. And my second arrow is 12. So, and uh, it's a positive 12. So you end it at negative four. Starting at negative four, you need to go 12 uh, steps to the right because it's positive number. So four, eight, and 12 is right here, if I'm not wrong. Am I wrong? Yes, I do. So four, eight, nine, 10, 12. So the result is eight. Okay, so this is actually uh, what we practiced yes, uh, uh, last week, and we're gonna start seeing now this kind of verbal expressions, uh, descriptions, that we need to first come up with the equation, then we need to do the addition on the number line. All right, and so, so now uh, let's talk about this table. This is the, by the way, we do part. I really appreciate uh, if you guys uh, type your answers on the chat box. So uh, it will be the participation and uh, hopefully you will understand this kind of uh, work problems too. So in this table, uh, as you can see, there is a temperature change like in the morning and afternoon temperatures. So this is the temperature change. By using these two data, we're gonna figure out what is the afternoon temperature and what it looks like uh, in the equation, okay? So the first one is shown uh, right here. It says morning temperature is one uh, Celsius and changes three degrees rise, which means like uh, it, it went up by three degrees and afternoon became four uh, Celsius. So how they find the four? Just uh, adding like morning temperature, which is the starting temperature and the rays, and you ended up with uh, afternoon. Somebody said it in the uh, chat box. Thank you so much. You guys are the first one. So yes, it is a 10. And let me write it down. So morning was two and it went up by eight, which means it is 10. So equation will be, I think this is how you found it, right? Two plus change, morning temperature plus change. So now tell me what is the sec uh, next one? Morning temperature is negative two. It, uh, fall down by six degrees. So what do you think? Wow, perfect. Like all of you guys, uh, only a couple of you uh, missed that uh, answer. Okay, it's okay. Yeah, you correct it now. Perfect, you correct it. 
So you started at negative two, okay? And it fell down by negative, uh, like because of its fell, it's gonna be negative, okay? So which means it's a negative six. So two negatives and it's a negative eight. Thank you. So by the way, this is 10. I didn't put this. And if you, well, I know you, you guys are using your uh, like common sense and you still get the right answer, like without using number line this time, which is perfect. Okay, so it's negative eight. For the next problem, so morning temperature is negative four and it went up by seven degrees. What do you think the afternoon temperature would be? Got it, perfect. It is, yes, it is, it is three. So morning was four, negative four, and it went up by seven degrees. Uh, and as most of you said, I mean, all of you said, it's gonna be like three degrees. And thank you so much. For the next one, morning temperature was six Celsius and it went down by nine Celsius. And what do you think the afternoon would be? Okay, we have a couple answers. Let's see, a couple more. Yeah, it is, it is negative three. So common sense again, oops, I apologize. So it is a negative three, as you guys said, thank you so much. And so the morning was six and because of its fall down means like uh, it's a negative nine. And as you guys said, like all of you said the same thing, agree on the same one, it's a negative three, perfect. So last two more, uh, morning was negative seven and it went down again, five degrees. What do you think uh, afternoon would be? Okay, we have a couple answers. Yes, it is. You guys are correct. Perfect. So it is a negative 12. Uh, how, how it's negative 12? You started at negative seven and also it went down a negative, like five degrees down which means uh, it keeps going down, which it becomes like negative 12. Perfect. So last one, well, some of you already start typing it, perfect. Yes, it is a negative two, thank you so much. So it started five and it, uh, it, uh, it went down by seven degree and, and it's cold now, it's a negative two, it is cold. So thank you so much, like everybody got, uh, Perfect. Okay, so this is uh, about uh, real life examples uh, about adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. So uh, that's why we're learning this concept uh, in math. Uh, why do we need to add negative numbers? Why do we need to uh, subtract positive numbers kind of questions? So that means like this is where we need uh, when we have an uh, everyday life. Uh, later in your uh, life, okay? Yeah, of course. So I'm gonna clear out and let's see what we have on the next slide. So it's an integer game. Uh, this is also a word problem. Uh, it's a verbal uh, problem. So let's see, Terry selected two cards. The sum of her cards is negative 10. So the first question, I really have, uh, could you guys like write it down in the chat box if you have uh, any thoughts? If you feel that you don't wanna share your answer with everybody, you can uh, type my privately uh, to my uh, name, okay? So the first question is, can both cards be positive? Do you think that, uh, or you can give me examples, like if you add two positive numbers, is it really possible to get negative 10? Okay, do, do you know why? Yes, it is no, the answer is no. Uh, do you know why is that? If you add two positive numbers, why it has to be, why there is a no example of uh, like, let's say this is my first card adding and this is my second card. And when you add two uh, positive numbers, you cannot get negative 10. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, it, it, it's no, because when you add two positive numbers, you ended up always positive results, that's why. Uh, for example, if the, if the temperature is positive and it keeps raising temperature, that means uh, the final temperature is also positive uh, number in the real life, right? So 
you can also approach this kind of problems with your common sense. Okay, you can explain it by giving an example, like in, in your everyday life. The other example might be, let's say uh, uh, your grandma gave you $10 uh, for uh, like, just uh, gave it as a gift. And on the next day, your grandma gave another $5. That means like you keep gaining money, right? You keep collecting money. That means you're never like uh, losing it unless you spend it. So if you uh, keep having a positive numbers, that means uh, the result is always it will be the positive. It's not negative. That's why it's impossible. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. And next thing. Let's see what we have. So next question. Can one of the cards be positive and other one is negative? What do you think? Could you write it down in the chat box? So, yes, yes, yes. Can can somebody give me their own example? Answer is yes. But uh, can you give me one example, like in your own example, anything could be. Like uh, the result has to be negative 10. But when you pick two cards, it has to be one of them. It has to be positive. The other one is, has to be negative. Like, so let's say this has to be positive number. Okay, I'm going to put like little plus. And the second number has to be negative. I'm going to put little minus over here. So the result has to be negative 10. Okay, take a, take a moment and think about like what kind of numbers if you pick and when you add them, you're going to get negative 10. So because if you get like erasers and lose 15. Yeah. So uh, getting, thank you so much. Uh, getting five erasers, uh, it's a positive number getting because you're getting it. And if you're losing it, 15 erasers, so losing means negative numbers, so negative 15, and you ended up negative 10. Yes, it is a pos uh, possible. So this is the one example that one of uh, you guys gave me. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, so you can give you tons of examples, something like this. Let's say uh, you're having a, uh, let's say uh, you borrowed uh, $21 from your friend and, and then you, you gave back, let's say, I don't know, uh, $16, let's say. Am I, no, no, this not is wrong. $11, let's say. So the result will be uh, negative 10 again. So you, you still uh, owe your friend $10 kind of problems, okay? So there is tons of examples you can give on this one. And next thing, uh, let's move on. Can both cards be negative? Explain why or why not? So this is the third one. Three different situations. What do you think? Uh, can both cards can be negative? I saw one yes. Okay. Yes. Can uh, can somebody give me one example of those two negative numbers? Could be anything. Uh, like even you can write it down uh, like as a like real world example. Uh, So take a moment, I'm gonna give you, uh, let's say maybe uh, 15 seconds until uh, you think I'm gonna write it down this, uh, the answer was no. Yes. So, uh, oh, okay. If I owe ten dollars and borrow five more, I owe uh, fifteen dollars. Yes. So, uh, exactly. If you keep uh, borrowing money from someone, that means like borrowing means uh, you keep owing to your friends, right? Which means like both numbers are negative, and you can get uh, another negative number. Yes, uh, that's that's correct. Uh, so let's say uh, you you owe ten dollar to your friend means like negative ten, and if you borrow another uh, five dollars, uh, that means again it's still negative uh, number, and the result will be another negative number. So that's possible. Uh, if your result is negative number, so the both cards can be negative number too. Thank you so much. It's a great example. Okay, so you guys are uh, doing great. Perfect. 
And let's move on. So these are the kind of uh, real life examples that uh, you may see uh, in your everyday life, okay? And so this is all we, uh, all we need to do uh, for today. Uh, it's very short lesson, it's just a review. And uh, the other than review, it's uh, like a, you're gonna start, start seeing the word problem, something like this, and like uh, explaining it by giving uh, an example, okay? So uh, next thing, what we are gonna do is, uh, there is no third one. And the last one is, uh, it's a you do part. So it's a con practice, and it's only like four question practice. So what I'm gonna ask you now, you need to go to your Google Classroom and uh, go to the Classwork tab and find the assignment names as like number equations and number lines, okay? So uh, for the number equations, you're gonna come up these kind of equations, like as we did in the uh, word problems. It's uh, it's very sim uh, similar one, or uh, using a number line. Uh, I'm gonna show you like a couple examples of what it looks like, okay? And when you find this uh, assignment, I want you to click the shared link. It's the Khan Academy link, and I want you to sign in using your uh, Gmail account, and it's only four question practice, and I would uh, ask you to try your best. Okay, so if you click this, it's gonna take your Google Classroom and this is the Classwork tab. And this is the one that I'm uh, talking about. If you click this and you're gonna see the link and if you click the link, you'll take your Khan Academy and make sure on the uh, right top corner, uh, there is a login pod and make sure you log in because without doing your uh, math problems uh, logging in, I mean, without logging in, if you do math problems, I cannot see your scores. That means like, uh, I don't like, I will assume that you didn't do your assignment. So please make sure before you do anything about Khan Academy, uh, log in with your Gmail account, like uh, what I did over here. And once you click this, just to give it a second, you need to go to your uh, learner home. When you go to your learner home, you're gonna see the assignment section and uh, the assignment section, uh, you're gonna see the assignment something like this. You will see the number line, something like this, and you need to come up with your equation. So first number is two and your first arrow is two units up, right? two blocks up. So that's why they gave you always the first one. And starting at, starting at the end of the first arrow, uh, this is the second arrow. So it started at two, yes. So this is your second number. How many units it went down? So you need to keep counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because of it went down seven, it's gonna be negative seven, okay? And you need to equal you need to write it down, what is your final destination? Final destination is right in front of the negative six, which means it becomes negative five, okay? These kinds of equations you need to create, okay? So we got it now. So if you go on the next one, you're gonna see another number line. So whatever the, uh, whatever the uh, arrow, uh, whichever the arrow starts at zero, that will be your first number. For example, this arrow starts at zero. So how many went uh, left? So it's a four, so that means it's a negative four and you need to say plus. And what, what is the second arrow? Starting at the end of the first arrow, this is the second arrow, how many uh, units it went uh, left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So because of it went left, so next time I want, uh, you need to write it down negative nine, okay? So when you use the negative numbers on the second uh, spot, I want you, uh, it's better if you use the parentheses to uh, separate this plus sign and negative sign, okay? So that's another uh, important uh, key point. And the last destination is uh, right in front of the negative 15, negative 14 and negative 13. So your result will be negative 13. So it's only this kind of four question. Uh, you guys need to write your equation and just uh, move next, okay? Try your best. It's okay if you make a mistake. It's okay if you try like uh, two times, three times, it's up to you. So it's only four questions. Or if you still feel that it's very confusing, uh, feel free to ask me uh, tomorrow during the intervention time. I can help uh, with these assignments, okay? And before you go, uh, there is a one more thing. So the recap is the conclusion of this lesson. Uh, I know uh, I'm going so fast, I'm, I know like I, I'm, I don't want you to keep this like till end of the lesson. You can do that assignment uh, once uh, you leave the Zoom session. So let me just uh, summarize uh, before you go. So the recap is uh, adding integer to a number can be represented on the number line as, so counting up when integer is positive, counting down when integer is negative, okay? So this is a review from uh, last week. 
and arrows can be used to represent sum of two integers on the number line. So that's it. So that's the, the summary. And so the last thing, once you finish your uh, assignment or before you do the assignment, you can do the exit ticket. It's only a couple of questions. And then uh, you'll be fine uh, for today, okay? So just tell me what is the one important thing you learned uh, in this classroom. And this is the number line example again. So try to answer this. And the first question is, uh, you need to tell me the two numbers, what these two arrows represent. Because if it went down, it's positive or negative numbers. What is the values for those numbers? So you need to pick two numbers over here. And what will be the sum? Like, what will, what will be the result for this addition problem? And then, and just uh, assess your own uh, prep for today. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much uh, for coming. I'm so glad seeing you guys. Uh, I have very good participation. And I'll be here. The Zoom session will be open. And if you have uh, any questions, you can type in the chat box. I'll respond immediately, okay? Thank you.